Hi everyone, this is Karam Akhtar, also known as Coach K. I will be covering the top 10 muscle building mistakes that people make when they enter the gym. Everyone wants to come to the gym and lift weights and look better, but there are some crucial mistakes that even the veterans miss out on. And today, what we're going to do is try to cover all of those mistakes and making sure that you know and are in knowledge of all of them. But before we dive in, please make sure you subscribe to the Men's Guide by Dari Mooch. Mistake number one, insufficient protein intake. Protein is one of the most important nutrients that we need if we strive to build muscle. If we want to build muscle, we need 1.6 grams to about 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of our body weight. All right, so why is protein important? Every time you come in the gym and you work out, essentially what you are doing is you're breaking down your muscle. The muscle is built when it repairs itself and the muscle cannot repair itself if you do not provide it the adequate protein intake. Okay, so what, is, what are my favorite protein sources? Eggs, meat, chicken, fish, red beans, lentils. These are definitely my top six protein intakes and I would like to say an honorary mention to cottage cheese. Mistake number two, that is overtraining and not focusing on proper recovery. Everyone when they start the gym, they're sometimes very hyped up and they just think that they have to work out day in, day out, every hour. That's not the mentality that you need. It is really important that you take care of your recovery and think more about quality than quantity. More is not always better. So it's really important to focus on your recovery and it's not just about quantity all the time, it's also about quality. You need to devise a workout plan that is more efficient, something that you can maybe stick by for a longer period of time and focus on building habits that are more sustainable. So it's not about working out seven days a week, four hours every day, it's about quality and efficient workouts. One hour to maybe 90 minutes at most is more than enough. Uh, you do not need to work out seven days a week. Four to five days is plenty for an average human being. Uh, give your body that two days of rest. It's very important for long-term progress. So listen to your body. Give itself um, adequate rest. Give itself proper sleep. This is a very important factor in making sure that you make progress in the gym. Mistake number three is not focusing on progressive overload, which is also basically undertraining. Every time you enter the gym, you have to strive to get stronger and stronger day by day, month by month. If you come to the gym and for example, you lift eight kgs for a specific exercise, you need to aim to get stronger and stronger in the next couple of months. If you think that this is the weight that you can do once and this is the weight that you stick by for the rest of your life, unfortunately, you're not going to build any muscle. Your body only changes once you put itself in an uncomfortable place, when you strive to make progress, when you tell itself that you're trying to do something that it does not have the strength for and keep striving to get stronger and stronger your body will have the incentive to change. If you are a beginner, you should be striving to add about a kilo or two kilo of weight in every compound exercises. Isolation exercises can sometimes go slowly, but compound exercises definitely aim to increase the weight by a kilo or two kilo, especially in the first few months. Eventually, the progress will stall and you're gonna have to make even a bigger effort to make those gains. However, you need to keep striving to get stronger and stronger because if you stay in the same place, same weight for the rest of your life, your body is gonna be like, okay, I'm comfortable with this. I need no reason to change. There are a few methods that you can incorporate progressive overload in your workouts. One is obviously like we've covered is to increase your weight in every exercise. Number two is to increase your repetitions with a specific weight over the course of time. And the third is to just add more volume in your overall workout which means maybe add another exercise or two over the coming weeks mistake number four poor form as you've covered in the previous point yes you should definitely strive to make progress in your weights however it should never come at the expense of poor form poor form can lead to injuries and it can put you out of the gym and can further demotivate you so yes definitely you should strive to increase your weights in all compounds and isolation exercises However, it's not about ego lifting. It's not just about the weight. You definitely have to make sure that your form is correct. One of the best ways that you can do that is to, from the beginning of your exercise journey, start focusing on what we call is a mind-muscle connection. You should be aware which muscles you're working when you're doing a particular exercise. For example, if you're doing chest presses, it's for the chest. From day one, whenever you're performing that exercise, try to understand which muscles are being worked, how to contract that muscle, 
it's going to go a lot long way in, in order to make progress mistake number five is not focusing on compound exercises compound exercises are the big exercises the multi-joint exercises for example the bench press deadlifts squats military presses, weighted dips, pull-ups. These are the big exercises that are gonna shape up your body. The isolation exercises, for example, that are bicep curls, tricep extensions, these are small exercises. They are like what I like to call the icing on the cake. You cannot put icing on the cake without the cake present itself. What's gonna build the cake? It's the compound exercises. So my general rule is that most of your workouts, especially in the beginning, needs to be consisted of 80% compounds and 20% isolations only. Focus on those compounds, guys. And mistake number six is inconsistency. One of the most important things in order to make progress is consistency. If you are not consistent, you're not gonna make progress. If you're workout plans and your nutrition plans are not being followed six out of seven days a week 28 out of 30 days a month and 355 out of 365 days a year unfortunately i'm sorry to break it to you you are not going to make progress you need to accept that this is a lifestyle change if this is something that you're just going to do only at your own convenience i'm sorry but your body's not going to respond so if you're serious about building muscle make sure you got this one thing correct consistency Mistake number seven is inadequate calorie intake. Now, unfortunately, 80% of the time, people come to me for uh, personal training. They come to me because they want to lose weight. Unfortunately, even losing weight requires you to build muscle. So there will always be a period of time where you require more calories than you think. However, it's really important that when I say that, that those calories are coming from good nutrition sources and for example let's say you might think that you want to eat only a thousand calories in order to lose weight and i might ask you to eat just a little bit more so it can support your muscle growth for example if i ask you to eat 1500 calories those extra 500 calories that i'm asking you to eat should be coming from good lean protein sources like we mentioned before chicken fish lean meats red beans lentils but it should not come from oh i have 500 extra calories to eat let's just have a scoop of ice cream or something to make it up so one thing is for sure what have we learned if someone comes to me and says that they want to gain weight if someone comes to me and says they want to lose weight in both cases usually what i tell both of them is to increase your protein intake number one that's the most important thing whether you want to lose weight or gain weight so if you want to make progress, guys, be prepared to have sufficient calor caloric intake. Mistake number eight is being impatient. One of the most important requirements in your fitness journeys is going to be patience. For example, if you want to lose weight, you're 35 years old, you weigh 200 kg, you want to drop your weight, obviously. You've gained those 200 kgs over a period of 30 years of bad habits, bad nutrition habits without, with no exercise. You cannot expect to come to the gym and expect to reverse that within a month of training. It took you 30 years to get here. It's going to take you a long time to reverse it. You just need to be patient. You need to trust the process. So if you want to build muscle, be prepared to be patient. Mistake number nine is making excuses. I want to give you an example. If a client comes up to me and says, oh, you know, I cannot come to the gym on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. So what's the point of me on coming on Monday and Tuesday? I'll just take the week off and I'll see you next Monday. So I, but unfortunately, that approach is not going to get you anywhere. At least you can still get that workout on Monday and Tuesday. Two days is still better than zero days. So like I said before, in order to build muscles, you need to be prepared for a lifestyle change. It needs to be done 355 out of 365 days a year. I'm just being understanding and saying, okay, you get 10 days here and there, you might go on vacation. Okay, that's understandable. But for the most part, you need to be prepared for these changes. Instead of saying, okay, oh, you know what, I'm traveling on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so I cannot work out. No, you're, that's just an excuse. Why not? Oh, I'm traveling, but I will find a gym over there. I will wake up early and I will get my workout in so I can stick with my routine rather than take those days off because I have to travel all of a sudden. That's the mentality that you need to have. You can't say, okay, oh, I just have to go on a road trip to Islamabad and oh my God. I can't work out there. There's plenty of gyms over there. You can, and you have 24 hours in a day. You can definitely take one hour out for the gym. Mistake number 10, last but not least, is not changing your workouts. For the most part, they will of course remain the same. Example is that you will always need to do the squat for your legs. There's no changing that, of course, but there's always gonna be little, little things that you're gonna have to change, which is your rep scheme, 
uh, the total volume of your workouts, uh, the number of days that you work out. You might have to jump from four days to six days a week. Then after three months, you might have to jump back to five days a week. You're always going to have to make these small changes here and there, subtle changes in order to keep your good body guessing. All right, so these were our 10 top muscle building mistakes. However, I would like to add another bonus tip for you guys, which is do not skip your warm up, do not skip your cool down, and focus on your mobility training. All right, and that's a wrap. So these were the top 10 common muscle building mistakes. Make sure you focus on your recovery, you focus on your nutrition, make sure you're doing your progressive overload, make sure you're getting your adequate protein intake, make sure you're not under eating, and make sure you're not overtraining. All of these things, once you start focusing on the little, little details, compound into a much bigger result. So have you been doing any of these mistakes? Leave a comment below and let us know. And don't forget to subscribe to The Men's Guide by Dari Mooch. See you later.